Hello, hello, good morning. How is everyone? So are we ready to get started with our lemons? I'm excited about these lemons and I know you guys are too, which makes me even more excited. So today we are going to paint our um, rest of the rest of our basic craft crate and that includes your lemon and also your Velcro um, little piece and I love these Velcro pieces. I hope you guys do too. Um, they were just, you know, one of those middle of the night thoughts that kind of came to me and I feel like they've worked out really well and um, they've been a lot of fun. You guys have had some great feedback on them as well. Um, so the first thing that, oh, well, let's go over the things that you're gonna need. Um, you will want to have your um, lemon stencil, your wood lemon, your, um, your felt, also your Velcro. I have my glue gun plugged in and you will also want to have your paint. I have white, yellow, and a little bit of green. And as always, if y'all are on here with me, say hey if you're uh, you're joining because it's always more fun to have you guys on here. Um, looks like Erica's on here. Hey, Erica. Um, so I also mentioned yesterday I was going to show you the paint that I found. Um, I found this um, yellow. It's called Yellow Light. It's by Folk Art, and it's the enamel paint. It has the um, like the wine glass on the top. And I think I found this at Walmart. Um, yeah, I did. The yellow that I had just wasn't yellowy enough. And then I had like a fall yellow. So I bought this, but it was really too yellow for me. So I added just a hint of my white paint and I mixed it. So just, I mean like a, a titch. Um, I love to mix colors, um, my paint colors because I get a lot more out of them. Um, and it, I just think, why not, right? You can make so many more colors on there. So, hello, Jenny, how are you? Um, so, I'm gonna first get started with my wood um, circle here, and I'm just going to paint a little bit of white on top. Um, I am using my chalk paint, so one coat will do me for sure. And I actually did bring a bottle of the bungalow in here so I can show it to you. Um, I believe the only way that you can actually purchase that paint is wholesale by like the bulk. So if there are any colors that you are interested in, I do have them and um, can make you a little, a little container of it or you can order it in like the upgrade section. So it is Bungalow 47. Um, that's pretty much everything that I've switched over to. For my outdoor paint, I'm still using um, like the Valspar, just white indoor outdoor paint. Um, so we have our white on there. I know it's a little bit hard to tell the, sun, the sunlight coming in, but yay for sun coming out. Um, and I don't know what I was just saying, I lost it. <laughs> Anyone? Remind me, I can't remember. So today is a half day as well for my kiddos, well for Kyler. I don't know if it's for everyone, I think it might just be for Kyler. Um, so we're going to get right to it on here. I'm sure you guys, if you have elementary school local kids here, then you're in the same boat. They're pretty much out of school more than they're in school these days, I feel like. <laughs> but just my opinion, if I was a teacher, I would be really excited about these half days. Um, Connor? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So just good a, giving, um, getting, giving this a nice thicker, semi thicker coat, not really a thick coat, but this paint is definitely not your chalk paint. It's definitely an acrylic. I did mix it with the white chalk paint though. Um, but the thing with it is, Although it is the enamel paint and so it does cover, I feel like, better than the regular um, other acrylic paints, it's still a two, sometimes a three coat process. So if you guys have any questions along the way, definitely give me an ask. In fact, let me see. Let me open up my iPad so I can see your comments because I don't know why I can't see them on my phone anymore. But I know I'm not the only one, so that makes me feel better that I'm not completely 
loomy bins here. Um, for the most part, most of you guys have all picked up your craft crates, which is exciting. And um, thank y'all so much when you you send me all those like love notes. Um, I've had so many of you guys comment that this has been your favorite and um, you love all the little extra specialty things that we did to it this month. Um, and one thing that I meant to mention yesterday, but I, I think I forgot, was um, my sweet neighbor, she added, um, well, I guess if you haven't picked yours up or you're still waiting for it, I don't totally want to spoil it, but she added a little something in there for you guys because um, she had something with the company that she works with and I'm not going to be totally encrypted here, but um, anyway, you will notice it immediately when you open it. <laughs> I'll just say that. And um, for those of you guys who have mes messaged me, um, it was just something that she had um, talked about maybe doing and adding a little bit of extra just for fun. And if you guys ever need anything from her company, then you know you can order them from her. It wasn't really the main thing, honestly. It just came from the fact that she had something that would pair well. And um, yeah, you'll know what I'm talking about when you get yours. So I just added a little bit of green up there. And it's definitely gonna need a little bit more Another coat of paint on there, um, and this was the topiary color for the Bungalow 47 that I just used. Um, it's a great color. I don't always love it on its own, but it's a good green um, when I'm doing anything with like greenery. So I am gonna go ahead, feels like it's pretty dry, and get my stencil on here. I am reusing this, so heads up on that. Um, and I'm gonna peel this off and just show you guys what um, what to peel off and what to leave behind. Because, I don't know, sometimes when I'm doing negatives and positives and reusing stencils and all, I don't know, my eyes play tricks on me sometimes, so. Um, and I know I'm not alone with that, so sometimes you forget, wait, which, which am I leaving behind and what am I pulling out, oops, so show you in just a moment. Stay there. Got one more trying to come off. Okay. Nope. Okay. So we're going to have to fix one once we get it on there. Not going to stay. So this is what I pulled off. Okay. These are, and this is totally wrong. Just ignore what I totally just said. If I could delete this, I would right now. That is absolutely wrong. <laughs> um, let's see. I'll leave that. Like I said, I was doing so many like <sighs> negative and positives there. I just totally confused myself as I was saying. Um, <laughs> Probably need a little bit more coffee. Okay. And hopefully this is sticky enough. Let's see. Come on, big guy. So, that's a good one for you to see. If you were to paint your, um... If you were to paint, like if you were, if you had two circles that you wanted to use and you wanted to do one the way that I'm showing you right now, and then you wanted to use the other part of your stencil, that would be the part that you'd actually want to have. <laughs> so, um, here we go. So do as I say and not as I just did. All right. So this is actually the part that you want because we're actually going to paint these inside of the triangles yellow. So, bada boom. Sugar plums and fairies, I made a mistake on that one. So I'll show you in again in just a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this up. Here we go. And this is what it's gonna look like. All right, so I'm going to go over it again with my white. I know some of you guys feel like with these new stencils, you don't really feel the need to do that. 
I'm still doing it. I don't know. I just feel like I love the crispy lines that I get from using that. If I'm going to take the time to use a stencil, I'm going to take the time to do that. Um, if I'm using like a, one of my other stencils, like a Mylar or something, I don't always... Well, you're not, you can't really do that. You just have to be really careful about where you're, you're dabbing and not too much paint. So I don't know. This process is just, just kind of something I've been doing for so long that don't really always skip it. So there it is. So I just did a really light coat of the white on there. Enough paint on there to keep it kind of glued on. It basically gives it like a good, um, a good barrier so that there's not paint slipping underneath. All right, so we're gonna give this another coat of the yellow. Um, and if you guys need me to show you that um, yellow color, again, I absolutely can. I really scored um, on it. It was just a whim. I picked it up the other day because I didn't love the yellow that I had. And um, the other day, it was like probably months ago. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, I'm gonna give it a little bit more in some of these sections. All right, so there is coat number two. You could leave your lemon like this. I know some of you guys said that you prefer it without the green on there with the leaves, but personally, I feel like I like it. So I'm rolling with it. I'm gonna put this here. I'm grabbing my glue gun. And I'm now going to give my, um, I'm going to put some glue on here. And the way that I like this is, let me just see if I can show you picking it up. It's a little damp, little, um, damp with paint, so I'm going to be a little careful. So I like mine to kind of be off to the side and up a little bit, like swooping down and then off to the side. So what I did was I actually put some glue on the wood because not all of the felt is going to show. Some of it kind of hangs off. And so give it a little bit of glue here. And I also manipulated it, if you saw when I held it up a second ago, this piece here was kind of like up pretty high and I just kind of manipulated the fabric, just kind of like pulled it back down just a hair. Hi, Diane, how are you? Hi, Ollie. So there it is, that is ready to go and it can go in your little berry basket and then you have your um, ribbon and you just will tie a bow around your basket with the ribbon if you want to. And you could even paint your basket. I thought about painting the basket, maybe like a, a mint color, um, but I left it. I figured it was cute the way that it was as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get <clears throat> our yellow back out. And I'm just gonna use my sponge again. As you guys can see, this sponge has many different colors on it and um, I just wash them and reuse them. In fact, I have an entire sink full drying right now. I kind of liked it on here actually because I didn't put anything down on my table. And just gonna go around it. But I feel like lemon colors are they vary, you know, you could have like a really light pastel yellow, you could have a really bright yellow. Um, you just have to do the lemon, lemon color that speaks to you, so. All right, so I am happy with that. There it is. And I did not bring over my napkin. I don't know whose water it is, but it looks like it's waiting just for me. My finger's off just a hair. And then I forgot to bring my weeding tool over here. Let me grab it, I can see it. All right, 
But I feel like this part went pretty fast, even when we were doing all of the finished and it was kind of um, easy to get through work with it. As we were going, we were able to kind of do multiple things at once. So you could probably reuse this one again for sure. And all lemons are different. Some have um, the seed, the little white seeds in them and some don't. Some have one or two, some have all. So, I mean, I really feel like you could use these again, even if you did it on a piece of, um, like a, a square. Um, and you could even, in our next segment, I'm gonna show you if you ended up upgrading to the combo, you then will have the blocks to work with and you can use those stencils as well again. And you, if you did it on something square, you could easily, you know, here you could put like squeeze or squeeze the day or, um, I don't know, I think you could really use a lot of different combinations with it. If you wanted to reuse your, your stencil again, or you could use the other half, the half that I was telling you that you don't want to do, and I did it anyways. <laughs> and what you would do with this is you would paint it yellow, and then you would cover up your yellow with this and paint the white over top. So lots of different options once again. Then what we'll do is I don't have an extra piece over here um, is you will put your Velcro on the back and I like to just glue it with the glue gun and then add just a little bit of glue in the center. That way for me, it comes off just a little bit easier. Um, I am hoping and you'll just have to let me know and reach out that the Velcro that we used this month will stick okay with the white Velcro that we've used in the past. I'm just using up supplies that I already have um, which I think is kind of important and for me to like use up and then I don't have to buy things and I can add more items to the craft rate. So this is what we did yesterday. This is the wood block. Um, so if you watched yesterday, you saw that we did the wood block and we did the farmer's market sign, which I didn't bring over here, but I just wanted to show you this is how it dried yesterday when we did it live. Um, I will say this, I went ahead and I tried it last night on something else. Totally different sign. And um, I let the black dry completely, like I said to do yesterday, but then I was like, no, that's not how I did it. But I let it, I did it again, I let it dry, and then I went over it with the glue. While the glue is very tack, still very wet, and lots of it, I went over the white again, and it worked fine. So you do have that option, and I just wanted to put that out there, that it does work either way. All right, so we have just now finished our lemon shape and our lemon um, for your wood to Velcro onto. And I'm gonna come back in just a few minutes, depending on what time it is. I think we have 15 minutes. I'll, do, I'll be right back with the blocks. So this way, this will be a short recording and easy to upload to our um, all of our uploads that we do. All right, guys, I'll see you in a sec. Thanks.